Hello, welcome to Life with Miss G. Today is a beautiful day outside and I think I'm gonna get back out on the grill. And this time I'm going to put some shrimp on the grill. And I may put a few more bratwurst on the grill. We'll just see. Uh, also, I bought a watermelon and I hope it's sweet. So I'm just going to cook, maybe make some pasta. We'll just see. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so I have my water boiling on top of the stove. And I got some peanut pasta. So we're just going to use this. I've already opened it and used some of it. I don't wanna to make too much. With summer coming, I wanna do more salads, sandwiches. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of cooking in the summertime. You know, I may throw some food on the grill, but I'm just not gonna do a whole lot of cooking on the grill. I mean, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of cooking with, with it being warm and hot outside, so. Plus I need to cut back on all the eating. So, we're gonna let that go. And that's for our real pasta that I'm making. I wanna fix foods that are a little bit lighter since it's summer. Let me cut up some bell pepper and onion for my pasta and tomato. Okay, so my pasta is boiling on top of the stove. And let me stir it up just to make sure. And I think the pasta cooks needs to cook about 10 to 12 minutes. Let me, I'll have to look at the package instructions. But I can taste it and make sure it's cooked. I don't want it overcooked and I don't want it undercooked. Okay, the package instructions said you're going to cook the pasta uh, for about 10 to 12 minutes drain and then drain it. So. Okay, I've just cut up some red onion and I'm also gonna cut up some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. And these are a little bit different cherry tomatoes. These are the twilight ones. They have a different flavor that I do like. It says a richer, uh, darker, richer tomato. So I'm gonna slice those up and slice up some of this red bell pepper. So I'm just slicing it up. With the pasta, you can put any ingredients that you want to. You can put mushrooms, you can put green onions instead of red onions. You can put uh, broccoli, spinach. With a pasta, it's kind of like a salad. You can put whatever you want to put in it. I actually got some orange bell peppers as well. I could do that. Uh, really, whatever you want to put in your pasta that you like. I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese and heavy cream. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the tomatoes here. All right. Okay, I'm just checking on my grill. Seems like the grill is not as hot as it was last week, but it's cooking. And my shrimp is almost ready. You see how it changed colors and turning the, um, what is that? A pinkish orange color, a peach color. So we'll just continue to let it cook. 
Okay, I think my pasta is ready now. So I'm going to drain my pasta and then throw in the vegetables, the cream, and the, um, the cheese. You know what? A little bacon probably wouldn't be bad in this either. I probably should have uh, fried a few slices of bacon. You see, I'm just making this recipe up as I go. Okay, let me just see what I can see how everything's cooking. Turn these rocks over. I think my shrimp may be ready. Let's see. Put some lemon, uh, fresh squeezed lemon on that shrimp to give it a, brighten up the flavor. Okay, I'm putting some bacon on to add to the pasta. Your favorite bacon. I like to put black pepper on it. Turn my smoker arm on, my smoker on. I need my. I can't talk to that. My fans, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh my god. Cause it's smoky in here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. Me. That black pepper makes me sneeze, but I'm just cooking my bacon. I may use some of that bacon fat to kind of saute my vegetables a little bit. I got one, two, three, four, five strips of bacon to add to this pasta dish. Okay, so I drained off. But I'm gonna use this same pot. Well, I might need to clean it because I don't want my pasta having all those bits in it. So I cleaned it. I was gonna use the same pot, but I'm going to, um, let me rinse this pot out. Okay, you see I got my shrimp and I have my bacon and I'm going to make this sauce. So let me put a little olive oil into the pan and then I'm going to cook some of my vegetables down. Put some pepper, the onion, Tomato and I chopped those tomatoes up a little bit better. And I'm gonna put some garlic, minced garlic in there too. And let this let this cook a little bit of saute. Add a tablespoon of garlic. Put all that in there too. I'm gonna put some black pepper. 
we'll go ahead and pour this heavy whipping cream in. I'm gonna turn the fire down. Turn that fire down. Let me add some more black pepper. You want to season it, whatever seasoning you like. That's some slap your mama. Put garlic powder. Garlic powder. Okay. I'm going to cut up some bacon. I'm just chop up some bacon in it. Gonna pour that shrimp in it. And we're gonna put the pasta in it. I already drained off the pasta. This is it. Get all that pasta and put it in there. some lemon in the refrigerator. Let me put a little lemon on that too. Okay, here's some Parmesan cheese that we're gonna add. Here's some lemon. It's a, a lemon. Let's put a little lemon juice in there too. And I gotta stir it all up. Put all that bacon in there. It may, it, I'm sure it needs some more um, whipping cream because we don't want dry pasta. So let me pour all that on there. I'm just trying to incorporate everything. I said you could put green onions, you could put um, mushrooms, broccoli, spinach, whatever you want. Bacon is salty, so I don't want to put too much salt on it because the bacon is already salty. The cheese has got salt, and the shrimp is already seasoned. So, 
but you season it to taste. This is the pasta. Let me. All right, I'm gonna let that cook. Clean up some my mess, and we'll be eating shortly. Okay, you guys, it's ready, and I have it in the pan on top of the stove, and I would plate it up, but I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. And believe me, I already tested it off camera. It is so good. Try this recipe at home. See if you like it. Like I said, just make up your own. You can put whatever you want to put in it and enjoy this dish. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I was trying to put it in the bowl for you to see. So this is... This is the, uh, I guess you call it shrimp and bacon pina pasta. Shrimp and bacon pina pasta. That's what we'll call it. All right. Enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting ready to eat. Have a good day. Blessings. Okay, I took the brats off the grill, and they, these will be for another day. When I get the grill out, I like to cook um, more than one meal for another day, like fix enough food for two or three days. And we can just eat off of these, you know, all week. I might take them for my lunch. So that pasta was delicious. I had it and it was so delicious. So delicious. Matter of fact, I'm still trying to eat it, but believe me, it's good. I'm, It's really good. A lot of times I don't eat on camera. I be so hungry. <laughs> I don't feel like getting the camera back out, but it is good. So try this recipe. And like I said, make it your own. Put whatever you want to put that you like in the pasta. Bye.